Welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today I'm working on uh, organization in the shop here. And uh, I like getting things organized. There's nothing uh, worse to me in the shop than hunting around for a tool for, you know, a half hour or something like that, or you can't find it at all. I just like going and uh, grabbing the tool and having it right there and uh, getting back to work. And uh, so here's uh, just a little shop project, just a quick shop project. And uh, this is just a little organizer for uh, pens, drill bits, tools, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this could be made out of any type of wood, MDF. This I happen to use a piece of cedar here. And uh, this is great. You can just uh, drop this in and attach this to a cabinet or a wall or, or whatever have you. This particular one, I got a couple rare earth magnets glued to the back side of this, and uh, this one's going uh, on the side of my toolbox there. And uh, this is just a 9 16 inch hole that I did with a, a Forstner bit. And uh, these are spaced uh, three quarters of an inch apart. And uh, so I just got a little video here of uh, showing me making this here in the shop. And uh, I, I do it on the Bridgeport Mill. I don't always like uh, working with wood on the Bridgeport Mill, but uh, I keep the vacuum on there and keep that dust off of uh, off of the table and that type of thing. So anyway, we'll jump over to the video and uh, I'll show you how I make uh, these little pin tool holders for the shop. This is a pretty simple shop project, but it's one of those shop projects that just makes a huge difference. Just making a little thing like this to hold some pins or some drill bits. And uh, you can make these uh, to hold Allen keys, all kinds of stuff around the shop and drill different size holes. Uh, yeah, here I'm just using uh, some cedar, uh, running the round over bit on it. Usually I got a router set up with a round over bit in it just all the time. So I can grab it real quick and uh, run it over the edges of some boards. And then, uh, yeah, here over to the Bridgeport Mill. And uh, yeah, the Bridgeport might seem a little overkill for this, but boy, it turns out really nice and all those holes are just nicely lined up. And it really beats uh, going over to a drill press and trying to do it on there. Uh, it just turns out really nice. And I'm just moving it over. Uh, 750 thousandths each here, uh, three quarters of an inch each time I move it over. And uh, yeah, just a real nice use of it. first saw these little tool holders in my friend Chris Scottheim's shop and uh, that was always great checking out his shop, super organized, so I, I thank him for it. I'm just milling in a, a little recess into the back here where I'm gonna epoxy in uh, two rare earth magnets that I have. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm just gonna stick this onto the side of the toolbox or you could stick this to any metal surface there. So I'm just mixing up a little epoxy, uh, dropping that in there. And uh, this is just some quick five minute epoxy and that works pretty good for these. And, wipe those magnets down with a little acetone prior to gluing those in, make sure they stick. And then uh, here it is on the side of the toolbox. And I made a, uh, a longer one here to attach to the side of my desk inside. And uh, yeah, it came out pretty good.
All right, right on. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching there. And uh, say, if you like the music in this video, head over to tyberho.com and uh, my website here, right on with johncrane.com. And I have a, uh, a link there to Patreon. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing great. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.